number nine. Oh, Patrick, thanks for joining us. How you doing out there, buddy? I am well. I am well. Thank you for, for having me. Sorry sure. if I was talking and you heard me a minute ago. There was a cop. When a cop talks to yeah. you, yeah. you talk back to the yeah, cop right. Right. you're on live TV. So Absolutely. Well, Patrick's out there uh, yeah. giving out gifts to the fellas on Valentine's Day. We'll check in with him in a minute, but I'm going to get to number nine in the nine at nine. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. But does anybody really care? Not really. According to a recent Harris poll, just 1% of people claim Valentine's huh. Day is their favorite holiday. That's right up there with Labor Day. So what does that tell us? Save your money. Well, does it though? Now see, this is yep. one of those things where a guy can get into a tricky situation. Yes, you can. It's because complex. the lady can say, I don't care about Valentine's right. Day. So it's, then you don't do anything. So you and don't then do she's anything. Mad at you. And then you just you get that side eye. Right. Like, yeah. well, I mean, you could have at least up yeah. me up a flower. A Snickers bar or something. Something. Well, she shouldn't have to tell the guy anything, right? Just do it. <laughs> Save when yourself in doubt, the trouble. Do it. Just do it. Yeah. Number eight, here's a real quick look at how aloe vera goes directly from the plant to the container. Oh, all right. Oh, what oh the? What is going on? Wow. This is like Ooh, that's kind of all beautiful. natural, real. Look at how they get it out of the plants. Yeah, a master with the knife. Wow. Hmm. Mesmerizing. Yeah. It is. I might want some right yeah. now. Yeah. All right, Patrick, you're up. All right, number seven. Let's talk about uh, jeans, if we can. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, as you all know, denim is blue, and here is why. The original blue color came from natural indigo dye. It was chosen because it worked so well with cotton. When exposed to hot water, most dyes will permeate the fabric. And it basically just stuck because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. Jeans actually date back to the 18th century. You can read more about it on historyofjeans.com. Interesting read if uh, you were in the mood. And if sure. that ain't broke, don't fix it motto definitely applies to jeans. Larry's had the same pair yeah. since what, 92? Right. These idiots out and there you, spending $200 on a pair of jeans. Yeah. Crazy. Let me tell you something, in the spirit of Palatine's Day, yeah. you still wear them, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> I'll second that, Larry. Oh, just, sure. Just because. <laughs> All right, number six. Wow, we take a look at this. It's a hammerhead worm. Wow. And they can grow up to 20 inches long. They're as bad as they look. They eat other worms. And we need earthworms, so we say to the hammerhead worm, just get out of here. You're an ugly son of a gun. Look at that thing. Listen to the music. Is this what this Mama and Papa song yeah, is, is about? Yeah. If I had a hammer. Look at that. How'd you like to wake up with that on your forehead? Wow. Ugh. All right, number five, uh, if you're looking for vacation ideas, there's a new glamping experience coming to Antarctica this November. Camp Echo Sky Pods are designed for two guests with floor to ceiling windows. You'll sleep in the pods, but that's about it. You'll also have access to a central lounge area, dining room, heated shower pods. Activities include fat biking. Okay, oh yeah, fat wheel biking probably. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, that sounded a little uh, ski doing. <laughs> skiing. Is that like jet skiing? No. Ski do? I'm out now. Uh, any all, you know, skiing, ice climbing, you do all that stuff. Arctic truck driving. Mm. That's on the list. And when you get there, you're treated to a special welcome party featuring shaken martinis with 10,000 year old ice. I guess it tastes better. Yeah. It's considered a once in a lifetime experience. It'll cost you $65,000 a person. Yeah. Airfare included, though. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Airfare is included. Number four, people love their pets even when they're dead. There's a pet funeral home in Seattle called Resting Waters that mm. has pet wakes. And we'll also do something called water cremation to gently send your dog or cat into the afterlife. Oh. Instead of cremation in a furnace, aquamation uses gentle water flow to accelerate and break down the dead pet. Oh, Resting geez. Waters will also connect the grieving pet owners with photographers who can document the pet's final days Ooh. or they can put you in touch with a tasteful taxidermist. Now we're talking. If that's how you want to go. Uh, some people like to have a cleaned skull or skeleton oh, to no. place under glass. Sure. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Oh. I just like the old taxidermy. <laughs> Seems like a lost art. 
You know, yeah. maybe it's people, not. I just you just don't hear about it. Well, you that think about people who've had their pet dog for 15, 20 years. Yeah. It's hard to separate. You have that thing stuffed and right. stick him in the window. It's like he's still around. Yeah. And yeah. less expensive, less trips to the yeah, vet and all that stuff. All right, number three, this next story has people divided. A woman got married recently and shared this story online. On her wedding day, a close friend handed her an envelope with a note inside. The note said, remember those concert tickets you never paid me for? Consider that your wedding gift. Oh, fair enough. According to the bride, the tickets were around $160, and it's true. She never did pay her for them, but mm -hmm. that was eight years ago. She said she honestly forgot about it, but obviously her friend no. did not. No. And she wishes her friend had asked her for the money back sooner. Who was the jerk? The friend yes. uh, or the bride? The what friend. do you think? It's a tacky way to do that. Tacky. If you're good friends, why don't you just ask her for the money if you need, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. You're, you're That's not something pals would do. Am no. I right, Pat Tomasulo? If yeah. you have a pal, you'd talk to him. He just told oh, me he doesn't there. want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, he said something about you were babbling on too much. And he didn't he's not like wrong. That. Yeah. I'll cover for him, though, if that's all right. Here's number two. It's time to look at the thighs of U.S. speed skater Joey Mantia. He has very muscular thighs. Oh, he's my in very Lord. very good shape. Are you kidding? His thighs are huge. He works <gasps> on them a lot. Oh, my gosh. You know, all the speed skating stuff. As a result, he's got huge, bulging thigh muscles. Oh. He was a favorite in the 1400 meter, but he did not medal still, but he still has big thighs, so he wow. gets points for that. Huh. Lucky him. Yeah. What the? All right, time for number one. Woo. Wow. That game was all fine and dandy yesterday, but Disney just made the movie Gus available on Whoa. iTunes. Yeah, now if you want to see some real football, you're going to want to watch this. It's called Gus. It's a comedy about a low-ranking football team that recruits a new player, and it's a mule named Gus, and Gus can kick the football 100 yards. It's an amazing movie, one of my all-time favorites. Do we have a clip? Yes. I hope so. All right, watch this. Hey, Rob. Throw Andy a ball. Yes, sir, Mr. Cooper. Here you go, kid. Ooh, oh, right, the old wiener. Welcome to the NFL. <laughs> you okay, kid? Oh, yes, sir. My brother does it all the time. Is that the bucket? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Buckets. Now, I want you to see that mule kick this ball. Um, Mr. Cooper, hmm? Gus has never kicked a ball like this before. Andy, can't you get him to try? For the kind of money I laid out, I'm at least entitled to see him miss. Go ahead, Andy. Just try it. Hmm? The plot here is amazing, yeah. right? <laughs> Gosh, I wonder if he's going to do it. Just listen to the writing here. Yeah. <laughs> On, Gus. Yes, I had newspapers, too. Yeah. I just think this is just one minute of this. Uh oh, come on. Hold it with your finger, Crying kid. out. Hold it. Uh, okay. Yes. Now, how do you get him to kick? I usually just yell, Oyage. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's that his, if the film. whole movie is as riveting as that. Right, that was just like a minute and ten yeah. of it. Imagine three hours or however long it was. Yeah. That's do you film. imagine for the, the field goals they bring out? <laughs> <laughs> if the Super Bowl. Right, if they brought out some animals. It interesting. Yeah, it'd be a lot more interesting yeah. to get bigger audience, I huh. bet. Right. So well, there that's, you are. That's the night at nine. It's